The first time we came was, I believe, last spring. This is our second week here, and we're coming back in March, like you said. Uh, and throughout these week-long residencies, uh, we interact with the students, and uh, this time we're actually performing with uh, Bob Justison, uh, playing the Trooper Quintet. And so it's just a way for us to really engage uh, with the community um, in a much more sort of permanent way. Um, you know, usually when we go travel, we're in a city for a day or two, and don't, you don't really get to get a sense of the community. But in doing this, uh, we feel, and especially going to these area schools, we feel like we can really uh, outreach to the communities and get sort of uh, bring awareness of chamber music uh, into the larger community. We do a lot of outreach in high schools and for middle schools because we feel it's really important to raise awareness of classical music, of chamber music, and the fact that it's still vibrant and it's not just uh, for old people and for old audiences, but there's something very new and fresh that the and we feel that we can bring a fresh sort of uh, perspective to it, um, bring some interest to it, and you know, and there's a longer term goal is to bring you know, it's building the audience. Of tomorrow. Classical music is not just music that, you know, uh, of Beethoven and Mozart and those old people, but you know, it's something that's constantly evolving and shifting, uh, going in different directions. And, you know, it's part of our responsibility as artists to really bring that music and to bring it to the forefront and bring it to the public consciousness uh, so that people are always listening and their tastes are always evolving. And that, uh, that just to bring awareness that music is always shifting and evolving as well.